Lewis, yeah, another busy week and a big weekend to come. What are your feelings heading into the Bradford game? Yeah, really looking forward to it. Listen, we're going to obviously going up to... They're going to have like a partisan crowd at the minute because they're obviously flying really high. They've got an icon in charge of mine, especially as a, as a United fan when I was younger. Um, so really looking forward to going up there. Obviously, we're going there. Like I say, full of confidence. We've had four really good results, but that counts for nothing when we go to, to a tough place in Bradford um, and, and, and then many fans and fans that they're going to have waiting for us. And training today also, as you can see, a few of the lads behind us. Was it another good session? Yeah, listen, like it has been the whole time. They're a really good bunch. They've been they're prepared, they're, they're, they're really willing and, and they've got their teeth like gritted because like, some of the lads are obviously not in and around the squad at the minute are, are chomping at the bit to try and get in there. But that's, that's what it's got to be. It's got to be healthy competition and make sure that everyone's ready to go. Um, but at the moment, the boys who have got the shirt are doing really, really well and they're holding on to it. Um, and listen, today it was just about managing some of them in terms of the spirited performance that we had on Tuesday and then obviously the really tough game that we had before that. Obviously, I know you were frustrated to drop those points at Colchester despite the draw, but was there anything you said to the lads that we needed to do to take to Bradford on Saturday? I think that, firstly, I think that shows how far we've come, that we're going, we're going away from home and we're disappointed that we're dropping points. Um, it's sort of something that someone said to me that... Listen, if you look after your home form, the away ones, as long as you keep the ball ticking over, then you start to do better. And, and, and thankfully, we've started to do that, as you can see us climbing up the table a little bit now. Um, but like I said, I just said to the boys that I've got full confidence in them as a group. They, they listen, to, to a man, every single one of them that, that is there and standing next to me, I couldn't, I'm standing with immense pride in, in how we stuck, stuck at it and, and got through to get that point at the end of the game. Um, and we've got to take that into Saturday, but the big thing is we've got to back it up now. And obviously a big crowd, but it's something that the players will thrive on, surely? Yeah, definitely. You've only got to look at last season when, well, now my, my, my right-hand man, who, who, who I lean on really heavily, Tony Craig, popped up with a winner right at the end. Um, and don't get me wrong, he's already... He's already uh, brought it up to me this week but um, no listen we've had two really good results there in, in the previous years but listen they're a team that's going really really well and, and we normally come alive in those kind of games you've only got to look over the previous couple of seasons that I've been involved uh, on the staff side some of the big results that we've picked up um, so fingers crossed we can go there and, and just put on a good performance listen it's going to be a really tough test we're aware of that but one that we're very much looking forward to Thank you, Lewis. Tone, another big game on Saturday. What are your thoughts heading into Bradford? Yeah, no, it's a, a, a great game for us. You know, uh, one of the biggest sides in uh, the league and that, you know, so uh, be a good atmosphere, a good crowd from them and uh, it's, uh, it's always a great place to play at. Mark Hughes obviously in charge of them at the moment. They're doing well. What can we expect from them as a team, do you think? Uh, I think they're a very possession-based side, you know, uh, a lot of experience in the side, uh, are certainly up the top and that, um, some uh, good attacking threats, uh, you know, and uh, players who have been in this league for a bit of a time now, uh, so they know the league, they know what's coming and, and everything I, and uh, they are from uh, 1 to 11, a good strong squad, but not only that, on the bench as well, but uh, it's one of them, we've got to look at ourselves, uh, we've got a belief in ourselves now, you know, we've got a momentum with us, so uh, we're going to take a, a game plan up there and uh, we're looking forward to it. And we know of your interest in coaching. How's it been sort of recently mixing that coaching element with playing as well on the field? Oh, you know, I, I loved every moment of it. You know, uh, it's, it's one of them, if I can have the best of both worlds, then uh, then brilliant. Uh, I'm a man who likes to put my input in and put my uh, opinions across uh, and everything like that. And Young is very kindly uh, let me help out, you know, in any way possible. And uh, it, it's one of them, it's early starts for me now and everything like that, but it's one of them which I'm, I'm relishing and I want to take on and that. And uh, it's it, experience for me, you know. So, but um, it's, it's one of them, uh, I'm at the get again, I'm going to repeat myself and get the best of both worlds. And Young, he's obviously put you down as a man he can trust. How is that working relationship with Lewis? Oh, it's fantastic. You know, uh, ever since I've been here, we've uh, we've got on. You know, uh, it, it's one of them. I've lent on him, he's lent on me at times. So uh, it's one of them where we're sort of from the same sort of backgrounds as well. Uh, we've got the same sort of uh, philosophy of uh, football and, and that. And uh, it, it's one of them. We've got a lot of experience between ourselves. You know, myself, I think, of course, 20 odd years. And Young, he's not far behind, or maybe even more than myself. So uh, it, it's one of them. Uh, a lot of seasons behind us, and uh, we can lean on that uh, between ourselves. And uh, let's see where it takes us. And after last year's joy in, in Bradford, the players from last season especially will be relishing this opportunity Saturday, especially after a last-minute winner from a, a certain someone. <laughs> yeah, no, like I said, uh, last year was a, uh, a good memory for, for me at this football club. Uh, it, it's one of them, um, I've, I've scored a couple of times there now, you know, so it's, it's brought good memories for me, but uh, it's one of them where I first made my uh, professional first time I was on the bench as well, many, many years ago. Uh, so uh, it, it's a place which I look with great fondness, you know, and uh, one I always look forward to, uh, to going back to. And uh, again, uh, 
at this level, it's always great to play in front of a, a big crowd, you know, because I think that gets the best out of myself and the best out of these players. So it's one and we're all looking forward to it. Finally, another good session today. How did it go out there? Yeah, no, it's brilliant. You know, uh, it's one of them, obviously, we had the boys from Tuesday who are having a bit of a down day today, you know, looking after themselves. But uh, the ones who uh, haven't got the minutes, they come in and uh, apply themselves very, very well. And uh, it was a high-intensity training session and uh, one which they enjoy, but more importantly, they got some good stuff out of it as well. So thank you very much. Thank you.